Hey, good morning, guys. So we are going for a little tour around the property today. I was asked to come outside. <laughs> Look at these glasses. <laughs> it was sunny as heck a couple hours ago. Right first thing in the morning. She's a little cloudy now, but it is warm, so we're taking advantage. Yeah, <laughs> doing some oxyacetylene welding. Yep. Anyway, so we're taking Wraith on our backcountry tracks. This is our 2021 X3 XRS with Smart Shocks on our backcountry LT tracks. So if you don't know these, these are a full two inch lug. The rear tracks are the same length as a 137 sled. So, or is it 146? I can't remember. What are we trying to prove? We're trying to, we're, we're seeing if there's enough snow to get either one of these things stuck today. The Sherp is on 71 inch tires, so we can uh, air them down. So we got a insane amount of contact area, low ground pressure. So we'll see if that helps today. So Mrs. Austin gonna be the Sherp, I'm gonna be in Wraith. We'll see if we can get these guys stuck today. Is really really deep down here guys Deep enough? Holy cow! <laughs> we almost never made it! <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy! Man, that took all the horsepower! <laughs> Holy! <laughs> Deep uphill crust! Look at this freaking wiper! <laughs> it's just making the effort right now. I mean, the tracks won't even have a problem. It's so fluffy. Oh, it's tough slugging. I know it doesn't look like it's any great at all, but it's just uh, a slight uphill, just right to the top there. You can kind of tell now, it's kind of down to the bottom. Maybe it's tough to crawl. <laughs> oh, I can't even walk, you guys. <laughs> She's like, this is the one. 
Oh, she's gonna try to keep chewing. I'll try to do the next one. Just try to keep chewing. See what She's almost. She's almost belly out there. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit more chewing and she'll be just belly out there. But I'm gonna be able to help you back up at least. <laughs> Guys, we have had we haven't had snow like this for like eight or ten years. So much snow. How about that wrap on the shirt? Holy pat of the guys from Pro Touch in Saskatoon. They did such a good job. Machine Inc. is their uh, wrap side of the business. They do an incredible job. They've done all our wraps. They've done full pull, they've done ghost. Here we go, here we go. Oh, I think she's got her. Woo! So with any wheeled machine, it's kind of important to brake trail. With a track machine, you can you can usually kind of get anywhere until you started getting into really steep grades. <laughs> okay. She's got the welding goggles on. She's ready. There's a big snowbank right there. It is pretty chachi in here. There's a lot of snow drifting on that side of the hill as well, so that makes stuff. I told her to try to back up and drop the air pressure down to 40, which equals about 0.7 of the PSI. So we'll see if she does that after this run here. Oh, they look pretty, pretty good down right now. So the Sherp is arguably one of the best, I would say, snow vehicles, tired snow vehicles, just because the 
tires are so huge and it still struggles compared to a machine with tracks. You just can't beat, obviously, right? That's why there's snowmobiles. You can't beat tracks in snow. Even with a heavy, like the X3 outfitted with tracks, I bet you it's over 2,000 pounds. 200 horsepower, 2,000 pounds. And you can get around surprisingly easy, even in insane snow conditions like this. <laughs> Holy, she is digging down there and still hasn't hit bottom. Same spot? Go walk up there. Oh, I know, man. It's deep. It's like the tire is spinning and then it's making, like, I I would almost say that I might tip if I even. Oh, you think so? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll give her a try. All right. Air, air down to 40. Like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, obviously, it's probably not going to tip, but it's bad. Like, it's really, like, deep rut. He just, oh, he's trying to scan it. Gonna go for reference. That's a hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really deep hole. Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness! Crazy. You had that song. There, like <laughs> that's crazy. That's like your armpits. <laughs> That's armpit deep. Maybe the trees help block it so there's not so much snow right there. Right now he said he's like, I'm gonna go try that again. You know what I want to do? Huh? I want to leave it in first gear. Yeah. And see if we can climb that. <laughs> but then I got it. But then I gotta get up there. Hey, you know what we should do is do that and see who can run up the fastest. The Sherpa or you. Oh, oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> okay. So we decided how we're gonna do it. So Miss Austin gonna get in the passenger seat. <laughs> we'll see how good it does. This is called Sherp Cruise Control. I think it's gonna end up burying itself in, but. Oh, it's so deep here. Man, it does so good with when you don't spin. Like it's already going uphill. She's getting ready just in case it climbs these and wants to go back. Yes! Man, it's already doing way better than I thought. <laughs> okay, she slid over a driver. She's not touching nothing yet. She just wants to make sure it doesn't go, ah, uh, she should have kept, oh, she did. Look how good it's doing, you guys. That is freaking amazing. Like, 
legit amazing. A lot of times in snow, if you guys watch Heavy D, he said it, snow and ice, a lot of times throttle is the exact wrong thing to do. Man, that's crazy. Man, if she gets a little bit more left, that's probably eight feet of snow there. Can you imagine if we got it stuck out here? Whoo, it'd be all hands on deck. Man, it's still going. Wow. Other than her getting a little scared here and just putting the clutch in. Oh, now she's gonna hit the gas because she's out. That was freaking amazing. I couldn't believe that. <laughs> Downhill is going so much faster. Jeez, crazy. That's the nice thing about owning your own property too. This is all just scrub brush. Don't worry about that. That'll all be grown up twice as high <laughs> in the spring, in the summer. Wow, that was freaking awesome. Did you get a little scared when it started leaning? <laughs> it did like I can't believe it went the whole way even when it hit those trees I thought it was gonna start to climb up the trees yeah well just scrub brush hey we have it you're right there <laughs> So you can try the, the creep, the creep method. <laughs> Man, isn't that a, that is freaking crazy, you guys. It's really deep over there. She ended up getting stuck. Oh, goodness. Creep method doesn't help you right now. Yeah, she's gonna try to come more towards me, away from that 10-foot right there. There you go, sometimes in snow you gotta back up, forward, back up, forward, just to get the line you want. You should've kept steering. Oh, 
she's got her. She's down in the bottom now. <laughs> this whole time, poor Wraith's been sitting here. Race too easy to get around. Okay, that's it. Hey, can I? So, 100% the uh, why the Sherp can do so well is these tires when they're aired out like this, like we're running maybe half a PSI in there, you just have a just a massive contact patch and your your pounds per square inch is like nothing. So air them up.